Hello YouTubers, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Jose Quinones, the CNC do here. Finally, we're gonna move the saw today. Now, last time you saw this saw, it was back here. And uh, it was basically waiting for it to be transferred into the workshop. And I asked, I posed the question, how can I move this into the workshop? Please give me your inspiration. And uh, I gotta say, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for, for answering my question and giving me different options. Uh, good, good, many good options were provided. Uh, unfortunately, only one can be employed because uh, <laughs> all I need to do is move this one. So I don't need 15, 20 or 50 solutions. All I need is one. And the one that I chose came uh, 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 inspired. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for inspiration. And the inspiration was found with the keywords machine dolly. And I'm going to show you, uh, I did a search on Google and, uh, you know, machine dolly gave a bunch of pictures, but there was one that caught my attention and I was like, hmm, this can work. And uh, that's what I, that, that's what I said to do. And it took me a month to put it together. And uh, I got to say, after w a bunch of welding and machining and creating this, I'm thinking that probably it would have been way better to buy the system. I think it was 500 bucks or maybe rent it because I'm, I'm only going to use this once. Um, so probably uh, either buying it or renting it would have been way better because it took me a whole month to make it. We're looking here at some of the machining that went through the project uh, so that I could create the actuator that is going to lift the machine. And, you know, I don't need to lift it a lot. Just a little bit to do it. Here's a little bit of an oopsie moment. That is always one of those. And, uh, you know, what you're looking at here is basically the different steps required to assemble uh, to fabricate the actuator and and the little cart and the ideas that were put in uh, to to make this happen, but the final product is uh, it's like half a cart. You have two half of a cart, and we're gonna strap this to the machine. And you know, back here, I'm thinking this is gonna work flawlessly, but the weight of the machine is a factor, and I'm thinking this is just just gonna work. But turns out that it wasn't as clean cut as I would have hoped. First thing is to move it out of the abyss that I have in there so that I can put the other cart. And uh, as you can see, the strapping is of crucial importance because you want the carts to be as close to the machine as possible. The machine is going to exert a force uh, down and these guys are gonna try to split apart. Okay, so here, here is one of the first problems. How do I get it out from the garage through that little bump and this bump is not too big of a deal but I just put a piece of wood and you know I play with the height but what I'm finding out is that the machine is leaning and that is because it is way heavier on one side than on the other here is the second problem and it is not only the distance but there is a little bit of a bump in here and uh, I just cannot go through so I had to implement something quick I'm running out of daylight this is at 7 30 I have light until 9 or roughly so I had to implement this horrendous caster uh, the ugliest caster you will ever see uh, but I didn't have time to document it what matters though is that it worked I mean it allowed me to wheel the machine up to the workshop so I was blown away I mean I thought by now this thing would have landed on me and uh, because of the uh, of the different slopes that you see in there you can see the leaning here it is extreme, extreme, extremely scary and then I'm thinking, man, I need something. And I remember that I have a pallet jack. And to my amazement, this thing fits perfectly. So at this point in time, I'm thinking, why on earth didn't I just use the blasted pallet jack? Um, so that was kind of uh, annoying that I didn't realize I could have done this with the pallet jack since the beginning and uh, just get it done. So unfortunately, I knew this was the third problem was how do I get uh, through that little bump and the pallet jack did the trick and at that point in time it's like screw it i'm just gonna use the pallet jack <laughs> this thing is so perfect move it up a little bit and go we are done well youtubers the saw made it in one piece into the workshop so i'm uh, extremely thrilled about that one man operation because thanks to COVID, there is no uh, no easy way to get a lot of people to work and i'm not gonna bother my my friends and my bro with this uh, I have bugged them enough, so if I can do it by myself, I will. And the pallet truck did the trick. And also, this contraption that I created, it took me a month to make this. It was a lot of fun to make, but I'm going to be honest with you, this was the wrong mechanism to employ. And uh, the reason was that uh, maybe this is good for uh, 
a, a big sofa or a refrigerator, but uh, for the saw, I think it's, uh, it was marginal. Now it worked and it got me up to here, but then to get in, I needed the pallet truck. And uh, the pallet truck actually would have been able to carry the whole thing from, from its first spot throughout the 200 feet and into here. Now, here is, uh, here's where I made a mistake, and I regret not learning this, but uh, two days ago, I saw the video that would have been a lifesaver if I had seen it a month ago, and uh, it was how to basically slowly lift the machine with pieces of wood so that you can bring a pallet truck below. It didn't occur to me, I mean, I had not seen that video one month ago, and it didn't occur to me to do that with this. Now, a lot of people did mention build a pallet, and uh, I have to be honest, I didn't realize they meant this kind of pallet. I thought a pallet like, you know, the typical pallet that you see on all of your uh, warehouses where you put a bunch of boxes and stuff. And the problem with that pallet was that it would have been impossible uh, with the equipment that I have to put the machine on that pallet because the pallet is too wide and uh, I didn't have anything to put it in there. The engine hoist uh, was not gonna do it because the engine hoist I uh, would have not been able to to put the saw on that type of pallet. But I didn't realize that you can put two pieces of wood, bolt the machine to those two pieces of wood, and then slide the pallet jack below. Um, and the only reason why I saw that was by pure accident when I was stuck at the entrance and I realized uh, I, gotta, I gotta somehow lift this guy up. And by pure chance, the pallet jack fit perfectly. So this would have been the right way to do it. And now I know for future cases when I need to move it, that's how I'm gonna do it. Wanna thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and uh, keep, uh, stay tuned because there are more machines getting here in the upcoming weeks, probably upcoming days. So thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and I'm gonna see you on the next one.